Hello guys, welcome back to uh, another great Scott Gaming video and also the second part of the Gary's Mod uh, Vehicle Chassis Tutorial. Um, so if you watched the previous one, you'll have seen the uh, point we got to. We've sort of made this chassis here, uh, just to sort of refresh your memories. Um, these are sort of the, the handling characteristics, if you will, of the chassis. Um, so if we just unfreeze that, you can see it's got a little bit of spring to it. Um, but what we're going to be doing in this tutorial this episode or this half of the tutorial is we're going to be adding the ACF engine and gearbox the fuel tank and also the um, differentials to the wheels so let's crack on um, and get on with it then um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off just by spawning in all the parts that I need this is a little bit easier to do it this way it's, um, now you can use whatever engine you want but because this is just a comfortable sort of saloon car. I'm just going to spawn in a 1.7 litre, a 1.6 litre inline four diesel engine, which I'm going to mount onto the chassis longitudinally like that. Um, we're going to need a gearbox, which will be able to take 137 foot pounds of torque. So we'll just minimize that, go into the gearboxes. Um, Six speed should be fine. Six speed and line small. There we go. Um, so we'll spawn the gearbox in. Freeze that in the same orientation as the engine. And then we're going to need two differentials. One for the front and one for the back. So just a differential small will be fine. We need to set the front one to minus one. Like so. And we're going to set the rear one two plus one like so uh, we're then going to no collide all the engine parts just by right clicking on all of them just so that they don't collide with anything they can be a little bit noisy if you collide them if you leave them co like collisions turned on with them so right I'm going to start by positioning the engine um, so the engine is going to be a front wheel drive a front engine car um, I'm going to move it to that point there. I'm going to move that by, say, that point there. Uh, so we'll just move that across like that using precision alignment. Um, we can delete those points now. I'm going to move the gearbox to, just for the time being, to the centre of the base prop by the centre of mass of the gearbox. So we'll do that like that. Move that across there. Um, I'm then going to move the gearbox down and I'm going to shift it up a little bit just so it's closer to the output of the gearbox. So first of all, move it down like that. Down by one, that should be fine. And I will move it across using precision alignment. Set the snap sensitivity to zero on hit pause. Point one there, and you can use the smart snap then to move the props about. So move that two points in. Yeah, that should be actually wait a minute. I'm just going to move it up by half of a plate width. Perfect. Right. So that's in place. The engine's in place, so I can weld that. Gearbox is in place, so we can weld that. And then we're going to move the differentials. So hit pause. I'm going to go to move it to the center of the front of that plate. I'm going to move the differential by the mass center. Um, like that. I'm just going to do a similar thing to the back. So the center of the plate there. Move the differential by the mass center. And we all move that to there. Now they're a little high up. Ideally what you want these to be is sort of halfway between where they are now and sort of the centre line to the wheels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these down by just the thickness of this prop. So point 0.2 to point 0.1 like that. Move that down one. Is that going to be enough? Maybe another one. There we go, and I'm going to do the same with the front one, so twice, okay, and then I'm going to weld the differentials to the base plate, 
thumb. Okay. Um, whilst we're here, I might as well also get um, a diesel fuel tank in there. So, run to the fuel tab. Um, bit of a smaller tank than that, 2x4x4. Four four. Yeah, that should be alright. I want diesel. Okay, so the fuel tank is there. Um, we're going to orient that round that way. Yeah, that should be fine. And we're going to move it. In fact, first of all, let's just no collide it. And we're going to move it. Point there. From that point there. Okay. And as you can see, the fuel tank's a little bit high up. So. Again, what I'm going to do is just use precision alignment and use the prop thickness of the base prop just to position this fuel tank. And I'll just move that down a few ticks. That's maybe a bit too much. That's probably just about right. Now you need to still be able to get to the differential. So just be mindful when you're actually placing the gear, but, um, the fuel tank, sorry. Um, that you don't sort of you don't move the fuel tank over the top of the you know the whole of the differential props differentials prop if you will um, so now that's in place I can then weld fuel tank to the base prop and we can just link up everything that's ACF wise so I'll link the engine to the gearbox and then we'll link the gearbox to the front differential gearbox to the rear differential We'll link the front differential to the front wheels and we'll link the rear differential to the rear wheels like that. Okay now so if we just dupe that this is roughly the weight that it's going to be so let's just test the suspension handling and as you can see it's quite it's quite level you know there's a nice bit of bounce to it uh, not too, doesn't look to be bottoming out at all. Um, yeah, good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, okay, we're now going to link the fuel tank up. So that's right click that, right click the fuel tank. Okay, back to the wire, back to wire. Um, we're going to need a pod controller. So one of these. And I'll just put that on top of the, the steering slave there. Uh, we're going to need a, a seat. Doesn't really matter which one, but just for this tutorial, we will use the airboat seat. Get it roughly central because what happens is if you, if you start putting things to one side of the chassis, you'll find that your vehicle will start to have a lean on it and you will end up with a sort of a tracking issue. So your vehicle will just end up steering in one direction. Um, so I'm going to Position the seat roughly centrally. You can go be a lot more precise than I can. Um, yeah, weld the seat on. Use the pod controller. Right click the pod controller itself. Then right click the seat. That links that pod controller to that seat. And now what we're going to do is wire up the engine and everything else. And also the steering. So we'll start with the steering slave. Um, so you wire A to A. D to D. Um... Oh, actually, yeah, we need another chip. We need the controller chip for the ACF. So, again, I'll put a link to the description, a link in the description to this, to the, you know, the actual chip itself, the code for the chip. Again, it isn't my chip. Um, I have modified this one slightly to include a brake function. Um, so you can actually have brakes on the actual, on the vehicle. It's a bit annoying when you jump out of the vehicle and it carries on rolling. Um, so yeah. What I do is I will spawn it on the floor, move it up in the air, and then just using weld, I will right click to smart weld it on top of this chip here. Okay, so that's the chip in place, the ACF chip anyway. Uh, we're then going to go to wire advanced again, and we're going to wire up the inputs for this chip. So that W to W. S to S, space to 
space. And then we're going to wire up the engine. So active goes to active on the pod controller. Throttle on the engine goes to throttle on the ACF E2. Gear goes to gear on the ACF E2. Gear up. I set that to mouse button 1 on the pod controller. Gear down. I set that to mouse 2 on the pod controller. Clutch, I usually set that to shift on the pod controller. Also, what you'll need to do is wire up active on the fuel tank to active on the pod controller. And you'll also need to wire up gear. Actually, no, not gear, sorry, on the, on the um, differentials. All you need on the differentials is brake, wired up to brake on the ACF chip. It's front and back like like so okay 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 um, now what you'll probably find is if you duplicate that and you try and jump in the vehicle it won't work and for some reason my garage I don't know if it's everybody's garage mod does this but yeah if I jump in the oh it is working yeah so there we go we've got a little car that stops and everything I'll just um show you the handling and whatnot. Very simple. But very effective. Okay, so um, that's going to be the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial what I will do is um, I'll just spend a little bit of time just sort of optimizing optimizing this vehicle. Um, there's other sort of things you can do on it. You can give the wheels extra grip by changing the properties of the material, add a little bit extra weight to them. That'll give them a little bit more grip. Like I said, you're not going to break any land speed records with this particular design, but you know it'll give you just a, a, a sort of a good example as to sort of how to build something this complicated. And I mean, it was, I don't think it was complicated. I hope you guys have followed it, you know, and you, you found it sort of fairly straightforward and informative. So. Yeah, um, all that being said, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Bye.